Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering new topics added to the CCNA exam 200-125. And this is section 2.2, device discovery. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to use CDP and LLDP to perform device discovery. Cisco discovery protocol overview. CDP is a Cisco proprietary layer 2 protocol that is used to gather information about Cisco devices which share the same data link. CDP is a media and protocol independent and runs on all Cisco devices. The device sends a periodic CDP advertisement to connected devices every 60 seconds, yeah? And then the whole time is 180 seconds. Advertisements share information about the type of device that is discovered, the name of the device, and the number and type of the interfaces are lots of information. For that reason, Cisco says you should disable CDP and enable it only where you need it. For example, IP phones, they need this protocol to run. So it's a quite, it's quite a lot of information displayed with CDP, which we're gonna see it very soon. CDP can assist in a network design decision, troubleshooting and making changes to equipment. To enable CDP, use the following command. Globally to enable, use a CDP run global configuration command. It's enabled by default, you don't have to do that, but only if somebody has done no CDP run, then you have to enable it. To enable it or disable it on the interface, use the CDP enable interface commands. So configuration command. So you can say CDP enable to enable, which is enabled by default, or you can say no CDP enable if you want to disable it. Okay, so let's have a let's have a look at our this is the network. So again, how we build this network, you have to look at section 1.1. It has four routers and a PC connected to it. So if I go to, let's say I go to router one, yeah? And let's say show CDP neighbor. So show CDP neighbors. So you can see the router, router one has got a neighbor with router two only, right? You can see the local interface is serial 000, which is this one here. The whole time, it was 180 is the whole maximum. Three times hello. Hello is every 60 seconds. And it's reaching 138. So when we reach 120, we should get another hello. We can see the capabilities of the router. What are the capabilities? So R stands for uh, router. S, it do, does the switching. And I is IGMP. What platform here is running? 29.11 is router 2. And router 2's interface this is S000. So I got it wrong there. On all the other videos as well. Okay, so um, let's go back here. This is brief, yeah? It's like saying brief. So, show CDP neighbors uh, details. That will show you a lot more information, including the IP address of the neighbor. So, show CDP neighbor detail. We can see the device name is R2. The address that we have, 10.1.1.12.2. Platform that's running. Capabilities. Interface and their interface as well. And how long is 132 seconds. Um, whole time. Uh, the, the iOS is running. A lot of information. And we don't have any VTP domain that's running on. So here we just got 153. We got another CDP. If I go to, for example, say I go to the switch, so control shift six X to go to my access server, show session. So I got sessions with all these devices plus the switch. So let's go to DLS one, for example, so seven. And enable and show CDP neighbor or neighbors. You can see there's, there's double connection with AL, a triple connection with ALS1, triple with ALS2, and triple with DLS. And you can see that I got connection with uh, router 3 as well. The, the DLS got connection to router 3. So you can see the local interface and remote interface. Right. So we can say detail, show CDP neighbors detail. It'll give us a bit more information. Like, for example, it gives us router 3 information what's happening. Um, DLS2, so if I just press enter slowly, you can see that DLS2 is Cisco 3560 switch. Um, what the iOS we are running, duplex, what we have on that interface. 
nothing the main name is Cisco right so lots of information now this is your first if you troubleshoot them that's your first tool show CDP neighbors have a look at what's what's your CDPs um, okay now CDP is a Cisco proprietary protocol yeah so just Cisco devices that can use it so what about if I have a non Cisco device what do I do these I just showed you show CDP neighbors show CDP neighbor detail then you have a LLDP now link layer discovery protocol is the sim same thing as CDP but it's open standard it's for other vendors is if a vendor neutral neighbor discovery protocol similar to CDP that can also run on Cisco devices the protocol advertises its identity and capabilities to other devices and receive the information from physically connected to layer 2 devices. Now, LLDP is not enabled by default, so you have to enable it. Um, so, for example, for CDP, we saw it, the CDP run or CDP enable on the interface. Well, similar to uh, LLDP. So, if I go to, uh, say, my one DLS, for example, the command, the command, so if you look here, LLDP run, LLDP, well, that's in global configuration mode, yeah? So LLDP run, we enable LLDP, it's not enabled by default. And if we go to the interfaces, for example, say show IP interface brief, uh, do in front here, yeah? do show IP interface brief. So let's pick one interface, okay, let's, let's just pick 12, for example, here right this interface if I can mark it correctly and we want to disa disable LDP so uh, interface interface FA 012 and say no LLDP enabled here we want to disable the LDP so if you want to disable no LDP receive okay so if I for example show LLDP uh, neighbors I was going to show you who is your LLD, other LLDP neighbors. It's, the commands are very similar to CDP. So if you learn CDP before, LLDP is very similar. So, so LLDP uh, neighbors detail. So now we can see a bit more information like the name, what, in, what interface we are connected to, what is the MAC address as well, including the other stuff. So not all devices, they do support LLDP. So if I go to router one, for example, and say uh, config t LLDP enable, it's going to say, okay, well, no, I can't support that. So some of the devices support, some of them don't. But usually the switches and not without the switches, they usually support it. To configure and verify LLDP, show LLDP neighbors that we saw it. The configuration, we get the MAC address of the device, a physical address. You can say the interface where we connected to the name and the capabilities of the device including the ios thank you very much for watching please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe this has been a strict trust niche bye bye